what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? There's a video out of Lil Baby sitting in his car interacting with fans. One guy is just outside of his window as he sits in the passenger seat holding a pistol in his right hand on his lap. Some people are saying that that's uncalled for. He tripping. He need help. He's a mental case. He's scared. Actually, somebody used the word fear. You can see the fear in his eyes. First off, family, fear can be a good thing. It was a hell of a motivator for me when I was fighting, scratching, trying to survive the ghetto. I didn't want to lose. So I had a fear of losing, which made me like <laughs> stronger than 10 men. I just refused to lose. Didn't want to be embarrassed. Fear is a good thing when you think about potential dangers. It's good to fear some things. Fear can be a hell of a motivator. I think it's when you don't have any fear, when you find yourself get caught up and messed around and get your noodles knocked, or you end up in jail for a gang of years. You see what I mean? I also think that in light of all of these rappers being executed, basically, it's a good thing to be strapped and ready. Why do you have to have your peace concealed when you have people that are strangers to you, you know, that are that close to you? Everybody ain't got the right intentions. Everybody don't have good intentions when interacting with celebrities. Some people are clout chasers and they believe that if they can come up on a, on a rapper, get a little swaying in on one, or perhaps even shoot one, they think that somehow that puts them in a position of strength. So a lot of these cats, They'll take the chance, trying to get the juice. I ain't mad at dude. I'm not mad at him at all. You could say, well, he need to have bodyguards. You know, where's the security? I don't know. I personally don't think that there's anybody on this planet that can guard my body better than I can. Pac had bodyguards tonight. He got killed. Biggie had a bunch of bodyguards tonight. He got killed. You know? I'm not sure if bodyguards is the answer. And, you know, dude wasn't, didn't appear to be doing anything particularly wrong or anything like that. So I can't say that the man need to just stay in the house and not, not come out of the house. He wasn't at a club. He wasn't bopping somewhere, partying. You know, uh, he was... He was sitting in his car, looked like he was, may have been at a store, a gas station, just somewhere out in public. Came across the fans. On one hand, you know, you want to be cordial to your fans. You want to be respectful. But like I say, all fans are not really fans. Some of them mean harm. Some of them are your enemies disguised as fans. And then you also have fans who can be enemies because some fans don't know how to act. They, you know, approach you. They might be a huge fan, but they don't know how to act. When they, you, you might be their favorite celebrity. And when they meet you, they get caught up, they get stuck, they don't know what to say, so they say something crazy, just crazy. And it'd be way out of out in left field. And then next thing you know, you're engaged. So I'm not mad at dude. 
I get it, man. I get it. This is a different climate that we're living in. Celebrities, especially rap stars, they're going down fast. They're dropping like flies. So, I'm with you, little baby. I ain't mad at you, bro. Protect yourself at all times. No more talk. What the haters talking about?